Welcome to March at Ozarks Technical Community College. As we have for the last five Februaries, all full-time employees gathered together at the White River Conference Center for Innovation Celebration, where we heard about good ideas and praised our colleagues. This year, the college awarded many grants to create study spaces, assist multilingual students, provide tools for mathematics, and purchase library materials. We also honored six of our colleagues with Trailblazer Awards. Following Linner, that's a combination of lunch and dinner, OTC Table Rock President Rob Griffith engaged in a wide-ranging conversation with Chancellor Hal Higdon. Dr. Higdon emphasized the idea that OTC is the community's college. A lot of educational institutions, two years, four years, public, private, they almost get to the point where the institution is more important than who they serve. Right. The institution is more important than the student. The institution is more important than the employees. If you look at a college that's lost its way, it's usually because it's lost its mission. Yeah. And our mission is community. Also in February, OTC hosted some Skills USA district competitions. From drafting to auto body, more than 130 students from nine different schools came to OTC for a day of competition. Some of our students traveled to other institutions to compete in other events. After the district competitions, our students earned 32 gold medals, 17 silver, and 6 bronze. The state competition is April 4th and 5th at State Tech in Lynn, Missouri. Also in February, the college got a new truck. Well, new to us. Thompson Sales Company donated a 2022 GMC Sierra pickup with fewer than 10,000 miles on it. It won't pick up many more miles because our automotive technology students are going to have it in the shop and up on the rack learning to work on it. And for Thompson Sales, the truck donation is an investment in their future employees. Our dealership sells, you know, 75 to 100 new trucks every month and eventually those trucks will break down and uh, the technicians that are coming up in the department here are going to be working on them. So we want to give them a head start in their careers, uh, get them some confidence um, here before they go into the real world and start working on these vehicles. In a few years, we'll not only have students working on cars and trucks, but also airplanes and helicopters. Late last month, concrete workers were up early pouring the foundation for the 29,000 square foot airframe and power plant building. We should be ready to welcome 25 students to the $13.2 million building in the fall of 2025. Those students will get the message that aviation maintenance is a lot different than working on cars and trucks. People's lives are in your hands. If your car breaks down and you can pull over, call a wrecker, that's not an option in the air. So obviously the world's faster, faster, and get it done, get it done as quick as you can. But in the maintenance field, aviation maintenance field, that's just, you know, it's get it done right. Did you know that almost two thirds of OTC students who transfer, transfer to Missouri State? It makes sense. MSU makes it easy for our Eagles to become Bears. And one day last month, the Jared Family Atrium was filled with Missouri State Maroon for MSU Day at OTC. Our transfer students actually performed better in the classroom at Missouri State than native MSU freshmen. Plus, if they go to OTC and then Missouri State, those students are probably going to contribute to our local economy. What a student from OTC is going to bring to Missouri State, one is, I think, a, a passion for Southwest Missouri, first of all. These students are looking at staying in this area and taking what they're learning and improving not only their livelihood and their future and their family's livelihood, but also Southwest Missouri. OTC saw a huge increase in fast track workforce incentive grant recipients during the 22-23 school year. We had 170 students receive the financial aid aimed at adult students compared to an average of 51 in the first three years of the program. In the summer of 22, Governor Parsons signed legislation that changed the aid from a potentially forgivable loan to a no strings attached grant. And we have more fast track recipients than all of the other 11 community colleges in Missouri combined. That's going to do it for this month's Around the College. We leave you with a look back at OTC night at 1984 Arcade. Enjoy as students born this century play games that were created decades before they were born. Enjoy it until next time. I'll see you Around the College.